Hello to you watching. My name is Brent Justice. I am your host. Welcome to my channel, Justice Gaming, and I am in Horizon Zero Dawn, continuing the playthrough today. And there is Kestrel singing in the background. That is actually a mood. That's a vibe right there to log into today. Well, in the last video, I basically did the last of the side quest with Vanasha. That was Queen's Gambit. And we had some pretty tough machines to kill in that last one. But I got through that. It was tough, but I got through it. Now it's time, finally time to go to Sunfall. And I have looked over my inventory. I have sold everything that I need to sell in uh, my coils or my resources and I've also bought all the potions I need so I'm full on potions and all of that. Uh, I was noticing that I have five skill points now so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get more things here. Let's see this is take down heavy and elite human enemies. That would be real nice. So you press the left mouse button to perform a silent takedown on, like, leaders and stuff like that. I like it. Or, wait a minute. 30% damage increase to strike attacks. Strike from above or below or a leader strike or a silent strike. Or sprinting is quiet. I mean, all of these are good and I want out all of them. Let's just go ahead and first get the leader strike so I can, like silently take down le not not yeah i guess silently yeah silently take down leaders so there we go i like that new skill unlocked okay it's time to do sunfall so quest main deep secrets of the earth let's go back remember we started this two videos ago i now need to climb down and go into that secret back door entrance that was like in the Colosseum. Of course, we learned that it's not really a Colosseum. That's what it's being used for now. But what this was, was a launch site, a rocket launch site. Let me go back to this campfire here. So I am expecting this video today to be extremely lore heavy. I am expecting a lot of lore. I'm expecting a lot of things to read and do. Uh, a lot of those data points to read. I'm hoping that anyway, so we'll see. All right. Oh, it's nighttime too. What a good time to sneak in. Nighttime, best time to sneak. Works for me. Our hunger keeps us sharp. Our hunger keeps us sharp. I'll come back later. That woman said to meet her at a green tent down in the camp. Might be worth a visit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is she telling me to go meet somebody in a tent? Do I need to go meet somebody in a tent? Uh, well, since I can just fast travel to these places real quick, uh, let me just check this out. Maybe I needed to speak to Vanasha again after finishing the last side quest, because I never did follow up with her, right? It doesn't say that I need to, but she said something about going to a green tent. I don't know. There's nobody here with the green tent. What are you talking about, Aloy? I used to daydream about That's a green tent. Now, I, must I guess not the right one. I don't know what Aloy is talking about here. I did the si I did the mission. I did the uh, side quest thing. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know, but uh you know what? We're, we're going to do this because I've put it off far too long. It makes me hope so. How are we going to hold it together without a sun king? How 
do we expect to win a war? All right, I kind of remember what I did before. I have to climb down and then I have to jump over here and go down there. Okay, here we go. Run, jump, run, jump, run, jump. Over, over, down, 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 and down we go, all the way down. All right, here we go. We are finally starting this mission, or this quest. Main quest, Deep Secrets of the Earth. Lego. No, it says not right now. Oh. Yes, now, Aloy. Here we go. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Ooh. Where the machines came from. We're repelling. The old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage. There's beast. one of those doors that I can break. Uh, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Identity oh, scan. Or identity scan. Identity scans confirmed. Hello, Elizabeth Sobeck. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. It's just hey! broken, probably. Elizabeth Sobeck here. Requesting access. Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. I do. Get me through this door. Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Yeah, Emergency mechanical failure. Emergency procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Proceed. Yes. Yeah, it's just a mechanic. I mean, it's old, right? It's real old. He's like, what? Well, that gave my position away, didn't it? Have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay, so as I was hoping for, this is going to be a lore-heavy episode today. Oh, we just left the door open. We should probably close it behind us. I guess it's not going to close. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to get ambushed at some point because that alerted everybody. Everybody. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Absolutely, I'll have a look around. A uh, text mail. Let's read that. All right, another incident. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need to do additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project. But as a staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators fluent in Polish. Security staff who can subdue enraged embryolo embryologists, embryologists, for example. And dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need to help handling the exceptions to that rule please respond so this is the reception room so as you can see I'm going to be uh, reading every text I'm going to be listening to every dialogue so uh, bear with me be patient but I definitely want to read and check out all the lore that's why I'm playing Okay, reception staff continues to require additional support managing ZD candidates when they arrive at the facility ZD Zero Dawn. 
Many are frightened or confused. Some are highly agitated. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At a minimum, we need human translators. The, the laying bots are not sufficient and mild sedatives for the extreme cases, and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these mails. So this is actually Project Zero Dawn, and we're going to probably learn a whole lot here. Like, this is a big one. This is a big one. I'm excited. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. The waiting room. of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. A waiting room, even one could say. Aloy, a waiting room. Obviously, I'll go in there. Let's check out what this is. Another text mail. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. So it sounds like whatever this project is, is really Please making people crazy. Viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. So we're going to learn some stuff here. That was the wrong thing. For the fifth time, please restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum because we're out of the organic cucumber mint or blackberry sage var uh, varietals, I'm going to lose it. Please respond. And this time, no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Tell me how a supply crate got down here. This place was sealed off. Next room. What? What was this place? Bet you. A holographic theater. Yeah, holographic. CD on one data intact. Initiating playback. Oh, here we go. Let's learn. I'm gonna tr sip my coffee, Welcome by the way. Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Here it is. Nothing will save us. It is inevitable. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, well, we've got 16 months. Okay, I, I understand. Exactly what you call a survival option. The but it's been a thousand years now. It's not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it. I see. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. 
human life. Leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Paris, out. They just accepted their fate. The robots were going to destroy Earth, and that's the way it is, and you can't help it. So what can you do to extend that, that life? Make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. So, as I mentioned at the start of this gameplay, I do know the story. Um, I watched a playthrough of this whole game when it first came out on the PlayStation, so I do know how, how she did that and everything, but I'm not going to mention it yet in case you aren't aware of that. If you are, this is your first time seeing this game, I don't want to spoil it because it's kind of cool. So basically what we learned here is they've just accepted their fate. They have just accepted that the robots are going to destroy Earth, the ecosystem can't stop them all we can do is pull them back or push them off until we complete whatever you know project zero dawn but that's it um it is going to happen and so elizabeth sobak has to devise some way to extend human life beyond after they've destroyed everything some way to do that um but they haven't destroyed everything because here we are a thousand years later and you know, there the the skies are fine. That there's there's lots of uh, life and everything or in or on Earth. So something has changed, and the robots themselves have changed behavior as well. Now we also know that the plague that basically infected him, the bad code, is called the Pharaoh Plague. So that's cool. But also, um, an important piece to pick up here, and I really paid attention to it was. He said that if they had the shutdown command codes for the robots, they could shut them all down. But because it uses such a complex encryption algorithm, they are not able to do that in the timeline in the time limit they have, like 16 months or whatever, six months or whatever it was. They they had very limited time. So he said it would take like half a century, like 500 years, to uh, no half a century, 50 years, uh, to like. Uh, come up with and, and, and process and break that encryption so they didn't have that kind of time but it's been a thousand years now so it's been like 10 centuries so that code if the computer was working on it back then should now be available somewhere right that code should be cracked now and if we can get that command code can we shut down the machines. That's what I picked up with that message. I got all that just from that one message. Kestrels. They got in through the vent. Shoot. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. We're going to have Spread to out. Uh we're going to have to move. Kill it. What is have this place? To do some combat here, Two? huh? How did they get in? I wonder. So they've been in this place. That's real interesting. They have some kind of super weapon. So they woke up. Missed. Missed again. Come on, Elizabeth. Fire. May this crush the enemy. Gotten off to a rough start today. Let this bring Okay, come on. Just golly, even even melee is hard. Oh gosh, I thought I could take him out easily. We're too close to let travel printers stop us now. The data points, what did they contain? I'm surprised how hard the melee is. It takes a lot to bring these guys down. I'm really shocked by that. 
Moving that difficulty slider up like I did really did a number on making things harder. Like, I'm not able to just go do melee on them so easily anymore. Okay, well, we've got a lot of things to scan and look at here, so let me spend a little bit of time doing this. There's a lot here. Oh, there's a tunnel. Alright, well, let's go through everything. with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse. See, Red they, they keep saying that the, uh, the, robots finish us. the atmosphere will Enduring collapse. Victory can't buy time against but it that. didn't. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Okay, we're going to listen to all of these. And I guess I can't interrupt it either. Okay, uh, next one, please. Text log. Oh, this one's kind of long. Try to get through it quickly. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they've received. It's important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for several mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It's essential to stress that all other options for combating the feral plague and preventing the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm and unfeasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar, or undersea structures that you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review supplement information last and without hesitation, be sure to inform security personnel. The candidate should only be cleared if their mental state is stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. But why wouldn't? I mean, I could understand maybe underwater, maybe even underwater ones should be okay or underground. But why not space why why couldn't you go to the moon or mars and try to build a colony and grow food and be able to sustain life outside of the earth why couldn't you i don't know they say it's not feasible or something but why is it not feasible they just don't have enough time i don't know but then they're putting all this together If anybody is, uh, you know what? I was just thinking, this almost reminds me in a way, if everybody has ever seen the show called The 100, it starts off with people living in a space station for like 100 years or something. Uh, maybe not that long. Actually, for I know it's called The 100, but it's not 100 years yet. Anyway, uh, been a long time since I've seen the series. But I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but they have to live in this space station for a reason, kind of similar to here but not quite but kind of uh, but the point is they managed humanity managed to survive by living on a space station for a long time could that not have happened here also but I mean it's been a thousand years so that's probably a little too long probably wouldn't be able to live there for a thousand I'm sure years. you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here Ms. Okilo Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. 
Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? I just noticed there's handholds up there. And a ladder. Uh, maybe I could have snuck up there to take out the Kestrels. Ooh, I could have. It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they feed off them? Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Yep, and there's people uh, going crazy. Please! With the news. Pharaoh in here! Want to discuss? Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter, Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, hmm? conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just well, he's uh, go. got an interesting personality. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line, self replication routines. <laughs> I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since, since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just, I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. Well, there's one up here. My work, and I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but really sell a concept and 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 in the labs in the, the the light of creation that first test run when when you saw they understood their own structures could rebuild themselves from memory and light there were no limits god there were no limits there is some mistake I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people that goes. in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. 
I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Okay, last one in here. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not going to fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I wonder where this goes. Uh, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Just a way around. Okay, let's... A uh, sneaky way around. Let's go on. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Here we go. Another one. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? No, it doesn't. What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Gaia! Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working Hades with... Hades is at together. the very bottom. Notice that. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. Minerva. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. The birds, the crops. To greening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. What an ambitious program. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. 
We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. And that's Project Zero Dawn. What an ambitious thing. The whole Earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay, so let's just talk about this real quickly here. Let's sum it up. Um, project Zero Dawn is a terraforming project run by an AI, Gaia, who is able to create other subroutines and create robots as needed to repair the Earth. So basically, they accepted the inevitable. The Earth was going to be destroyed. Um, all of the environment was going to be ravaged. But then, over centuries, these robots would be created and start cleaning up the atmosphere again and cleaning up the the ground and 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 then they were able to seed life, you know, with plant germination and I guess eventually human life they had uh, stored in cryo or in some way uh, able to respawn humans on the earth. And then they had a program set up that those humans were supposed to learn the history and learn all the knowledge so that, you know, they knew what was going on. But something happened with that and they didn't. Now, it sounds like at the very end of this program is Hades, who is supposed to build some kind of uh, a guy has been working on this command code thing. And so she would have had the command code and then. It's supposed to build some kind of tower at the end of all that when uh, when all of it's done and send a signal that would basically shut down all the pharaoh robots at that point. Something like that. So Hades is probably the program that does that to shut down all the robots. I mean, it would have to infect it like a virus to do that maybe. And that's why it kind of looks like a virus. Uh, but then how did Hades get into a robot? It probably was transferred by a person. I mean, these people didn't know what was going on. So, because Apollo didn't work out, and so that they, they, um, basically, uh, all the robots just kind of went rogue. I don't know. And, and the humans went rogue, and they kind of put... Uh, the AI, you know, trying to do bad things with it, or hate put Hades in a in a robot trying to do bad things with it, stuff like that. Makes sense, and uh, that kind of leads us to where we are now, and we still have a question of who Aloy is, and how she is an entity. It calls her the entity, but um, we'll learn that. You are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave the facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you. Participation. You will be assigned a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You'll be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week, and your communications with family will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing, will be transferred to the Elysium Sealed Habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives. Indefinite detention. Should you choose to decline participation, you will be confined indefinitely. You will be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your decision to refuse will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your team 
your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world, and death within 18 months due to the Faro Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who wish to opt for medical euthanasia will be released, and then medical euthanasia, the information you have just received, calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify a counselor if you're ready to make your choice. So, yeah, it's basically work with them, be detained, or kill yourself. Lovely. They were very strict about this. I guess they don't want the panic, and they need to be able to do their work, right? See this one down here. It's virtual. It's vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly, without additional co coercion and without value judgment on part of the counselor. Confirm for candidates they are, they are selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated participation will increase the project's chance of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate each objective as normal, even admirable, emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just by humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day, validate their hesitation, acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates cha uh, challenge the plausibility of Zero Dawn permit, permit them to review doctor's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process the documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It's important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48-hour waiting period during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasize that euthanasia will not occur without re repeated consent when the procedure schedules take place no one will be euthanized against their will candidates who select indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse their decision pretty strict but i get it it's a lot in here let's uh, check all this out if you're still nauseous no the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Well, it did come back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. 
I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... So, uh, I want to see this, uh, Elysium. Project Elysium. See to make sure I behave this time? Okay. Security. <laughs> for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say. Flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You don't... Uh, get your hands off me! There's a lot in here. It's a big room. And something that's purple. Stranded shackles. Okay. There's nothing to read. Let's see what's in this other room over here. What is this? What kind of room is this? Okay, well that's odd. There's nothing here. Maybe this is where the Kestrels got in at? I don't know. Well, let's go to the next room. Let's get that. that away. Let's get that. Intruder! Get her! I knew it. Whatever you do, don't die now. Okay, they have a lot of things here. I can't see through the door. Got him. Got one down. <laughs> Trying for the headshots. Okay, I got him. Enemies are getting a little harder. proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years so the idea of a reconstituted biosphere well it's horrifying isn't it a complete horror show we have no right to take a best guess at this stuff but the alternative nothingness 
powers down. So they would have been all this and then... I've done this before. Nothing. Just need with Charles face. Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. The counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Next one. Zero Dawn. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? When I encounter these guys, we'll put an extra health booster on. Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance of all the many people in the auditorium that we should both be here now and yet i feel more accepting of my fate no it is not fair not at all but for the sake of my family for the sake of art art is alive it must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future not perish into oblivion this opportunity i must do this Okay, next. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day was it, little sweet pea. Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, I hope we get to see Elysium. I didn't want that. We'll drop it over here. Nope, I said drop. This might even the odds. No, drop. No, you're in the way. Go away. Okay, I have to restore power. And I see stairs down here, so I guess we're going down below. Looks like a place to get shot at. Another door. Oh. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Right toe. Okay, well, first of all. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Okay, I do need another part, but let's first get this. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. 
I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Everything's in reverse. Is that so? Secure encryption port. Data shows required settings for hololocks. Error. Settings transposed. But are they in reverse? Really? So I need one that goes here. Da, da, da. These are the settings for this, but I need a component that I'm missing. Ooh, oh. Ah. Above? I can't grab it though. There is stuff up there, but how do I get up there is the question. I'm looking for grab holds or something. I was thinking maybe here. Look, there's like, there's room up there. Look at that. It's up there. I just don't see how to get up there. It's definitely not letting me up here. It's not letting me up. I can't jump up of that. Oh, I can stand on that. Oh. Oh, she won't grab onto it. Okay, it's definitely above me. I just don't know how to get up there. Can I do it from back out here? You don't suppose I need to go down there, do I? Like, I would, but I'm afraid I can't get back up. I'm afraid if I go down there, I can't get back up. Okay, I think I just definitely need to do it from this room that I'm in over here. See, there's a rope, clearly. I jump up there and go over the rope. Clearly. Clearly. But how does one get up there? Here? She ain't grabbing onto that. Just seems like right here would be the way to go up, right? But she's not grabbing on. She ain't doing it. Okay, I'm clearly missing something obvious.
I mean, it's up there. It's right there. I definitely have to get up there. There's no other way. It's that's where it's at. that yet. Alright, well, I'm... I'm at a loss how to get up there. I'm obviously missing something uh, obvious and you all are probably yelling at me right now, but I can't hear you. Because those who have played this obviously know how to do this probably extremely easy, but I don't, so... Seems like that would be the way to climb it, but she won't she won't grab onto it. Or this way. But she will not grab onto it. So Oh, I almost made it up on that. Hold on. Look, I can almost make that up. Almost. It's like almost there. Come on. Oh, come on, Aloy. All right. Obviously, I don't think that's the way to do it, but if I could make it, I would take it. Okay. I don't know. Restore power to the door. Thank you. I need the thing that's up there, and I cannot get up there. I need is a way to jump up. Yeah. Not working. It's not obvious, whatever it is. Wherever, however I'm supposed to get up to the top, it's not obvious. Do I dare go down here? I just don't think I can get back up if I jump down there. And I don't even know if I need to jump down there. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I can't save my game though, I'm not at a campfire. So if this kills me going down here, I'm out of luck. Oh, it doesn't let you jump down there. Okay. Okay, good. So, it's not down there then. Alright, yeah, it won't even let me jump down there, so that's not an option. I thought that may be, like, the way to go, but it is definitely not the option. I think I could climb up here. No. Alright, I know that it has to be here somewhere. Grab holds, grab bars. I just don't see them. It is so clear to me that I I walk across there to get to there, but how do I get up there?
I cannot reach that. I'm about five seconds from looking this up to figure it out, which is not above me. I will do that in situations that I'm just dragging on. There's obviously a grab bar I'm missing somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, Aloy. What are we doing? It just seems like this would be the way to climb up, doesn't it? But, it, it, she isn't, so... So then what? I, I can get here, but that's not enough. Okay, look, I have to look this up. I'm sorry, I just don't have a choice. I'm, I'm just, it's dragging on now. It's taking too long. I'm going to Google this on my phone. I'm sorry, I have to do it. I just do. Deep Secrets of the Earth Sea Horizon. Zero Dawn. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Uh, restore power. Like, I, look, the way that I am, um, the way that I'm looking at this is I know that's where it's at. Like, I know the power thing is up above, so I already know that I need that power thing to restore. Uh, but... I just don't know how to get there. I won't read past figuring this out, though. So you go to the central projects, do that. Alright. You need to figure out multiple codes. First set of locks will be on your left. Okay, you need to recover an emitter for the missing slot, and then you need to read the, yeah, read it in reverse, which I already figured out. Grab the missing emitter by heading through a door adjacent to the room you're in now. Adjacent to the room I'm in now? You'll head up a ladder. So, there is a ladder. Why, why am I not finding the ladder? Adjacent to this room. I was over here. This room? I do not see a ladder. I didn't look at a picture. I'm just reading the text. Said adjacent to this room, there's a ladder. I don't see a ladder. No ladders. This is the room I came out of. A door. I don't see a door.
even with the instructions. I can't figure it out. What? Uh, let me see if I can find a picture. No, they don't have a picture. Here's the instructions. First, grab the missing emitter by heading through a door adjacent to the room you're in right now. You'll head up a ladder and find the emitter on a table. Heading through a door adjacent to the room. You'll head up a ladder. No. So I know that I'm looking for a ladder somewhere. been in all of these rooms. I've been over here. I see no ladders. I have an idea. Do I need to... Well, oh, wait a minute. Do I need to turn these dials? Do I need to turn these dials to open that door? Is that... Guys. Really? Is that the answer? So I can get through that door to go up? Oh, I thought I wasn't able to utilize these until I did that. But that's for that door up there. This is for this door. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. I didn't know that I had to do the puzzle to get through that door. That's probably it. Up. Uh, left, up, left. I didn't know I had to unlock the door down right. Nope, other way. Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. I didn't know that's what that was for. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Y'all are screaming at me. I know it. I know it. I thought I had to climb up from there. Like, I saw it above me, so I, I thought like, uh, I thought like, oh, I need to do it from this room. But no, I need to do it from this room, a storage room, just like it said. See, I thought that door down below was not going to open until I did the other panel. I thought it would open both doors. Uh, I'm dumb. Even reading the instructions, I couldn't figure it out. found one. Looks intact. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Gosh. I can't believe that. I just cannot believe that. Well, I can believe it. Because it's me.
That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. All right, now I I know I have to do it in reverse. So we're gonna be down right, and then up left, and then down. Okay, I'm down instead of up. I'm right. I'm uh, up instead of down. I'm left instead of right, and I'm down instead of up. That should have undone it, right? No. What? I did it opposites. So that's down instead of up, right instead of left, up instead of down, left instead of right, down instead of up. Is that not right? Maybe uh, because it's reversed, oh. Uh, oh, because it's, because it's upside down, it's kind of flipped, maybe? <clears throat> so instead of up, that should be down. And then if that's right, this should be left. And then instead of down, that should be up. Instead of left, this should be right. Ah, okay. Now to see what lies beyond it. At least I figured that puzzle out. So because it was upside down, it was reversed. Like literally, it was the other way around. Not the opposite of the thing, but the opposite way it was flipped. I got it. Oh good. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Nope, I guess we're going in. I'm gonna do an extra health here. health there real fast. I had electrical sparks on him. I see some. I missed. Try to run. Unleash the power of shadow upon them. The last of them. Alert. Meet us, but we'll fail. 
Or not. Moment, anyway. Ooh, pretty you rough. Find Let's get all the loots. Okay, so Gaia is up there. I need to get up there. They obviously got up there, so there's a way up there. Maybe in this other room. This is a big room, <laughs> a big, important looking room. There's like a prototype of how they build the robots or something. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection pre for animal morphology. Sure, not usually unexpected given the rough natural terrain her boss will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on her here. Her designs aren't just functional. They feel almost like tributes is the word that comes to mind, as though she's already mourning their loss. And not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record too. References to megafauna in some of her designs is so cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. So she's making uh, animal robots on purpose. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots, and not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. Mm. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. 
Stalkers, Ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed? Mm-hmm. Why indeed? All right, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, and up to a comprehensive plan, it's time to start construction. One detail. Consult, consult with Tequila before you finalize the silo inventory. So Festus' first task will be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. So they were going to build the towers first. That's interesting. I've seen these shapes before, in cauldrons. But of course, the birthing places of Gaia's machines. All right, did I get everything in this room? Before I leave, I'm just going to make sure It's a little hard to see in these facilities. It's so dark. Wish I had a flashlight. Okay, definitely something in there. A desk. A lot of something's in there. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. Ah. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Okay. Keep looking. So this is Elizabeth Sobek's office itself. Now that's important. More eclipse. Careful now. Wonderful. Just what I don't need. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's mark them all. They all got these guns. If I could pick one up, I'll use it. Should I snipe them from here? I'd like to, actually. I don't know if I could. So I'm supposed to be finding my way into Elizabeth's office, though. They're all back there. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. 
The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. But... Welcome. And let us begin. But it didn't work. Apollo didn't work anyway. And the winner is Encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I've performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even that Eternity tech that Foss was shilling a year. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings, too heavy to transport, too massive to install, and too power intensive over the centuries to prone to failure past 300 to 400 years. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes we're projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we'll embed the molecules. Already testing 16 candidate materials as well as design and fabricating the power systems and sealed re uh, reliquaries that will keep the DNA at negative 18 degrees C for a thousand plus years. So long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed promptuous, that we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic, but heroic. Uh, life as the hero, beating back the forces of, Bol of oblivion. Much to do, Samina. I mean, it's feasible, right? It's feasible. Okay, I need to go down in here and take out these people. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procure procurement of a copy of the Homer Archive from Far Zenith has made itself known. As a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up, a bit of ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I, I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset, with the attendant curricula developed about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing, with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with entrusting Aristotle and Aphasia persona. Per personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining, but of course we know Apollo failed. All right, let's health up. Here we go, everyone. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I popped off a little too early there, but I got one of them. Get those headshots, not too bad, huh? He's alerted. I think there's one up there above me. Okay, here they come. Get eyes on them! That's the last of them. Hey, on once more. I did that without getting hit Shit, too much. Look around, see if anything is left.
That wasn't too bad. served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please know that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. I guess that's all that's up here. I'm also wondering if during this mission there's one of those data core things that I need. I don't know why I jumped down here. There's well, if there's one of those data core things that I need uh, for that extra armor at the uh, in the armory, there might be somewhere in this mission one of those that I need to look for. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Elbaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective... Yeah, yeah, we heard that one. I'm supposed to go up here, huh? That is where I go. Let's just make sure I get everything along the way. Let's get ready for more battles. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn ah, Extinction Hades. Failsafe Protocol. Extinction Failsafe. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. Ah, I mean, that makes sense. Imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? 
release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, start guy, over, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. To destroy it all again. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. So Hades is a failsafe. Okay, so... If that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Well, that makes sense. Color me confounded, Lizzie. Anyone says the old TT codes to Bashko are straight up lying, and you know it. Old Trav don't have uh, no truck with commercialized razzle dazz. I'd rather guzzle a liter of citrum runoff than listen to Grey Swarm for 30 seconds. Now, isn't Bashkor blasting the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth? It's death metal. Classic music, 80s and 90s mostly. Classic music. Got me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal themed stuff. Stop by if you want to listen, or heck, just come by within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no bash core you'll see or hear. Rather, in the screech that reminds air and feel and the trouble, feeling trapped. And for a uh, request to turn it down, no can do. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal, might as well give up stimulants, chocolate malts, and industrial accident vids. Last I heard, we're supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? I don't think so. Tate here. Just popped three blues and I earned it. Frankly figured out a Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If this ain't worth 10 to 12 hours to determine, what is? Before this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia's core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off the driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, she couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done its business. So, so I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for the wear. Too soft and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control in simulation after simulation. Hades would take command of the terraforming system in reverse only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry. Sneaky, I swear. Ooh, okay. Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell. Pre uh, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the captain's chair and work its magic. Uh, oh, okay, that's interesting. So maybe something went wrong and uh, she couldn't take retake control or something. I don't know. What would have interfered with that though? I don't know. Mr. Tate, this email concerns Apollo Archive submission. Your submission in just five days. What a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, inappropriate materials you choose to submit holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme ex exploitation cinema. Rejecting your submission. I, I get it. Make a millipede, don't worry. For clarifying a concept that has been ambiguous and ethically fraud and quagmire. I mean, it's funny, right? He was trying to get some stuff uh, submitted to Apollo that uh, wasn't on the up and up there, huh? Or weird, anyway. 
Oh, we're going into a cave. Looks like the only way onwards. Still trying to find an entrance into Elizabeth Sobeck's office. Well, okay, I jumped into that. Supposed to get up there. Let's see what this says, shall we? Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. So, cradle facilities where they're gonna rebirth human, human peoples. And I know that this is a, a long video today, everyone. I'm going to upload the whole thing. It's going to, I mean, you'll know that already, but this is going to be a long one. It is a long one. Development of the artificial personae for cradle servitors, nurture, disciplinarian healer, continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. It should allow low grade empathy and limited imp improvision without under him adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus-driven switching of a persona, however, is providing to be a great software challenge and anticipated, especially con um, concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer persona. I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a plan, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, there are these cradle facilities and then the uh, personae to raise the children after they've grown. Interesting. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I've spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over documentation. They're a revelation. I don't know what you had to give Far Zenith in order to get these chambers, but it's worth it. In a single leap, their em embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved, nutrition delivery resolved, hormonal stability resolved, 12 other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey, the Odyssey to be a fool's errand, but if the rest of the v V7's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours and then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan. So they were using these chambers then for space travel too, I bet. Has to be, right? Eleuthia was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang provided to detect it. 
Ping back from crucial systems is good for our maiden voyage a success. Regards, my disputes with the betas over zygote selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree there is a margin for refinement in future cradle populations. In addition to pers personally overseeing completion of the Alithia site inside Mount Namoli, I will formulate and propose a modified z zygote selection plan within the week. I know I'm supposed to go that way, but I saw something back here I wanted to check out. Is this a way up, or is this just the way I came in? Ah, oh, that's the way I came in. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. Indeed. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Of There's only one way to be sure. All Mother Mountain is... The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yes. Makes sense. All Mother Mountain could be one of those cradle facilities that uh, birthed humans. No space. Uh oh, I gotta do some climbing. Are we in her office? Oh, we might be in her office. Uh-huh. We are in her office. Okay, but before I go down in that area, let's, uh... Let's scan what we have over here. She had a big office, by the way. Looks like I it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Okay, let's listen to this. Benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... Unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... Causes me to experience... A grief... That is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Okay, so Gaia does have feelings for wanting to help us. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Mm. There are billions dead. It got bad. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. 
I just don't want to miss anything. I'm just making sure I really go around and look. This is my opportunity to get everything. There's her main office. I don't see a way inside. A pry open door. Do I do that first, or do I go get this stuff over here? Let's get this stuff over here. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. A hardwired override, huh? Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Probably a master code or something to give us low level access. Alright, let's get into our office. Well, let's get everything in here. Full already. The Odyssey has failed. All. Some terrible news. I'm afraid Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, and its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. Okay, so they did have a space project called Apollo. I'm glad they tried, but it sounds like it uh, exploded. Failed. Bye-bye. Okay, looks like we're going to get the master control here. Let's uh, see what this is. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything, had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas, suspended in what-ifs, more than 14,000 and went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We've started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneering organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere, microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. Thousands more that will have to await their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them, so they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the conception of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too lates. We lost a whole collection of team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will be will be bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, not like this, not on our watch. Okay, is that everything? What does it say? All right, here we go. Let's go. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate. I think birth. he's right, though. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created?
Oh, Kestrel's in the background. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Okay, well, we need to get all the information first. Okay, come on. Oh, that is bad. But isn't there a shield there? Oh, he's got an explosive. Well, I guess that shield didn't hold. Hope we copied all the information. That's the most important it's thing, though. Alive. Good. And we'll need our focus. They're probably going to steal I our have focus. A more suitable death in mind for you, child. Oh <laughs> no! So they've captured us. They're probably going to take our focus away. I just hope. Oh, discovered the truth, huh? Discovered the truth of Zero Dawn. But, oh no! See, they're going to have taken my focus away, and it's going to have that master control file. I have my to get it back. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. I have been stripped of everything. Even when Jaron was murdered. It's kind of a reset. Even when Meridian fell, I never oh boy. doubted my destiny. Until you came along. There's my focus. And my weapon. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I fail. How? I'm gonna Why? have to fight my way out of this, aren't I? With I gotta get situated here. Attacked. Reposition each myself. Loyal soldier you killed. This pestering doubt grew. It's been two hours. This is a long video. This one's gonna be a pretty long and one. And when the true Sun King Itam was snatched away, it not only grew. I'm probably gonna have to fight my way out of the here. Moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Um. Should I talk about Rost or mm, trying to bore me to death? I mean, that's kind of kind of what I want to say, honestly. If you're gonna go on babbling like this all night, could you just kill me now? Oh, I did no. it. We're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice. At that moment, on the mountain. I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Mm -hmm. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything. As it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Hmm. What do I say here? You're a thug, you're a fool, you're a puppet. Is he a puppet though? You're a thug, you're a fool. Maybe I'll just say you're a fool. You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. A little antagonization here. Destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Here being oh, that's what she meant. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of that's, Karja. Myth. That's what it meant. That it you're doesn't being care played. about Meridian. It wants to played kill by Hades. everything. I get it. Want. I should have said that and actually. You are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. 
all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. At least you told him the truth. I'll remember so that's the truth, and burn. we're gonna have to fight our way what out of this, aren't of we? You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. Exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred what? land. I ordered every Nora killed. Uh-oh. Not good. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. So they're attacking everything. Needs a slaughter. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device. He's gonna crush it. Oh no. And yet, so fragile. Ah, uh, that had the master code on it. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. Well, that ruins everything. The knife has already been twisted. So I've got a theory though. Maybe uh, Silence copied it from our focus as we were copying it. He seems to be able to do stuff like that. But I don't know. That ain't good. That ain't good. I hope there was a backup. All that work for nothing otherwise. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. All right, I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. And I have no weapons have and I have no armor. I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. No focus. Join to one call. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Oh gosh, I have to destroy those two of them? I'm gonna have to fight machines without having any weapons. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing uh, before your eyes? Is this possible? Proud in broad light of day. Approved by the sun and joined to our cause. Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many. Oh, and they're corrupted. Oh, and they're sending corruption to other machines. Oh, good. They're even tougher. Okay, I'm gonna die a few times here, everyone. I apologize, but I think I'm about to die. I may not talk a lot. I need to concentrate on fighting. So I may not talk a whole lot during this. I'm gonna have to really, really focus.
I'll never beat that thing without weapons. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Just no get out of here. Room. Maybe I could use the strength against it. Get my weapons back. Okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh, 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 I get it, I get it. Knock the towers down, get my weapons back. Okay. Come at me, bro. Maybe I can get it to knock the towers down? I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Need it to charge. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. That did it. One more pillar, and that platform will come down. And my weapon's weak. Ow. That makes a mess. Hey, look at that. I did it. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Ooh, am I gonna come out like all superhero? How did I change my clothes so fast? What? I did a quick change. I have my weapons. Those components are the size of its head. They've got something to do with this lift attacks. big weapons out here? Have I knocked anything off that would help me, like one of the uh, powerful weapons? No, I haven't. I'm trying to get those... Ooh, ow. I'm trying to get those big... Uh, trying to get those canisters on its back. I don't know what its uh, what its vulnerabilities are. Like I don't want to shoot it with fire or ice if that'll buff it up. So I gotta be careful. Did it.
I actually destroyed it. Wow. And I didn't die. That was difficult. Silence. Now he's probably going to send those other machines to me to to kill me. Yeah, those machines. Shadows. Kill her. I don't know what their weakness is. I don't want to shoot them with the wrong thing, but I don't know. Somebody coming to our rescue? Oh my, it's uh, Silence himself coming to our rescue. Silence. Wow, and he brought friends. was epic that was so epic I can't believe I actually did that without dying so you're here really here you risked your life of course I did if you'd been killed the Nora sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets too bad you wasted your time then Helis destroyed my focus, and the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Of course he Stalling has. Stalling that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Okay, well, yeah, let's ask some questions here. Uh, how did you find how me? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. No. More questions. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. So he's been watching Should me be the told, whole time. The Kinda underlying creepy, logic though. of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. <sighs> right. All right, I gotta help the Nora. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You oh. think of everything, don't you? Some new armor, oh, huh? Exactly. Stealth armor? Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. 
for your sake. I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Okay. Wow. Well, we met Silence in person now, so we've seen him. And it sounds like we're going to be... Oh, we're on a mountain. Sounds like we're going to be heading uh, to the Nora sacred land in a little bit. Obviously not in this video because this is this has gone on pretty long. But we are now level 46. Yeah, it wants me to go all the way back to there, which I'm not going to do right now. I am going to... I got five skill points. Okay, I got a lot of things here to figure out. I think the best thing to do is to go to uh, Meridian. Let me dismount my mount. And I'm going to fast travel to Meridian so we can leave off for today because this has been a really long video. And we'll definitely continue this uh, story in the next video, but let's talk about this one because uh, pretty good amount of lore and uh, storyline here. A lot happened. A lot, lot, lot happened. Get this to load. And I also have a question. I've got a big question, actually. And... Uh, I don't know the answer to it. I may look it up, I'm not sure, but I've got a big question and I hope I didn't miss something. We'll talk about this once this loads. I'm gonna do a quick save here. Also gonna do a manual save just in case. All right, so what I really wanted to discuss, the main question I have after doing that did I miss a power core? You know how there's that armory that I need to get the power cores for to gain access to that special armor at the end of the game? Usually those happen in, or you get those power cores in big story missions, right? Remember when I went up to Ted Faro's office and I found it at the top up there? They're in missions like that. And I was just in a big one at Project Zero Dawn. So... If I go back here, am I even able to go to the Sunfall area anymore? I can go to the Sunfall area. Like, what would happen if I went back to that area? I don't know. I may try that in the future, but... Really, my question is, did I miss a power core? Was there a hidden one somewhere that I did not find? And I hope not. I hope there wasn't one, because I didn't want to miss that. So that's my first big question there. Did I miss something? Because, ouch, if I did, I want that power armor. I really want it. But anyway, um, I might have to look up where all the where all the things are found just to make sure I didn't miss it. I just want to be sure, right? I don't know. I may do that. Um, okay, let's talk about it. We went down into Sunfall, and we found the answer to what Project Zero Dawn is. Basically, it was inevitable that the machines were going to kill the whole environment. So, you devise a system that can rebuild the environment. Gaia and her subordinate functions to rebuild the environment. You also need a failsafe, Hades, to take over and destroy it again in case she didn't get it right the first time. So she can rinse and repeat a whole lot. Hence, we're a thousand years later. It might have taken her a few tries to get to where we are now. Okay? So that's understandable. Then you have this whole process of bringing humans back. You have these cryogenic things with the zygotes and all that, these pods, these cradles, to uh, then bring humans back once she got the environment right. That obviously happened because humans, hello, they're all over the place, so that worked. But then, for some reason, she also ordered the cradle system to birth us. And... It thinks we're an entity. It thinks we're Elizabeth Sobek. Why did that happen? Obviously, it must have happened inside All Mother. Was probably one of those cradles facilities. So we'll have to go learn that. But that's basically just of it, right? 
that's it. And then we know that one of those functions was Apollo, which was going to help humanity learn about their past and have knowledge, but that went wrong also somehow. So humans are, I mean, they succeeded in bringing the humans out and we, we got humans, but they're just, they didn't succeed with the Apollo part. So I guess it's partly good. And that's basically it. That's Project Zero Dawn. And um, now we know the title of the game. And that is really cool. So a whole lot there. Then we were cast into the Sun Ring. And we had to fight some machines without anything. And luckily we were able to get our weapons back. And then I defeated that machine without dying. I did have to use a lot of health for that. But I didn't die. So that's good. And then uh, Silence came to our rescue. So we met him, talked to him. And now that we now we know that the Eclipse is being sent to kill the Nora, so we're going to have to go defend the Nora probably next. So let me look at my uh, quest. I mean, yeah, there's no side quest. It's basically back to go to All Mother. So help them fight off the Eclipse and go to All Mother. That will be the next thing I do then. But uh, I may actually go back to Sunfall and see if I can get in. I may, as soon as I go there, they may start attacking me though. So I'm not sure if it's a friendly place or not. It might not be a friendly place anymore. But I'm interested in kind of going back just to see if there was anything I missed still in that area. Anyway. All right, we got through all of that and I, I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to go back underground. That's why I'm hoping there wasn't a power core there. I just really am hoping there wasn't and I didn't miss one because, you know what, I could just do it now. Horizon, the sun Zero Dawn, too much influenced the What's he thinking, letting where are the power cores? I just want to make sure it wasn't in there because man if I had missed it I would be all over the place. I would not like that if I missed that. So I do definitely want to get into that ancient armory. I'm not going to look up where... Okay, it says here... No, okay. Un uh, underground bunker. Okay, there's one in All Mother. I'll make sure to get it. Maker's End. I got that one. The Grave Horde. Did I do that one? And maybe Guy Prime. Okay, there wasn't one. There... Well, no, it says... Oh, no, it just says Underground Bunker. Yeah, there's not one at Sunfall. There's not one at Project Zero Dawn. I mean, that would have been a good place to, like, have one, right? But... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that says it was at Project Zero Dawn. Well, Maker's End is the one I got. That was Pharaoh's Office. The Grave Horde. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last one is like when you get to the end game. Okay, so I didn't miss one. Yay, I just had to double check. I, I just didn't want to miss one, right? Okay, I think that's going to be it for today's video. It's been a very long video. So thank you if you stayed all the way to the end and watched this entire thing. Thank you for doing that so much. I appreciate it. This was a big lore mission. I knew it would be like that. I didn't know it would end up being two and a half hours. But I did it. And I guess there was that moment during the middle where I didn't figure out I needed to unlock the other door to get through to find that other power thing to open the other door. I apologize for that. I was being dumb. I should have tried the locks. I just thought that they were both connected to that one door I needed to get through. I thought that... I had to get it, get it to unlock the door, and I didn't know I needed to unlock the door to get to the storage room to go up to get the thing, so uh, I apologize. That was a uh, little dumb of me, but uh, I found it eventually. Okay, I figured it out. It just took me a while. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.